good. Obviously, we're going to do more of an area than this. When we're actually doing it, we'll let you for the camera. This is what we're going to do. When you're back rolling it, you want to stay away from these, uh, this wall because what will happen if you go too close, you'll scratch this wall and you'll mess up the uh, uh, you'll mess up the texture of the wall. So there you have it. Okay. This is what we did yesterday. We went through. We sanded, cocked, uh, filled. Not in that order, but we did something like that. And uh, and sprayed. So. This is how it looks when it comes out nice and sprayed, nice and beautiful. That's what the uh, trim enamel urethane or something. Nonetheless. Anyway, so now what we're doing today, we're going to be doing walls. So again, we're going to be using the emerald uh, interior acrylic latex satin. So this is the color. The color is going to be over there. And again, sure I'm going to the color. So I'm gonna cut it in real quick and show you a little demonstration on how we're gonna do this. How we do it, we go through, we cut it all in first. You know what I like to do actually? I like to get a, a little small roller. And I like to kind of roll up to the casing. Right? And the reason I do that is so as it gets the, the surface wet. Right? So when I go in with my brush, it doesn't dry off really quick and I can, I can cut in a longer path. Cut the whole room in first. After we cut it in, we'll come back in and roll the wall back. So, anyways, this is basically how we do it. Trying to do it. Put fastest in a hurry, make sure we do a great job. So, because I put that roller on there, it lets me flow a lot longer. The paint that's on my brush. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to go over here and show you already something that I did. Put two coats on everything. This product only calls for one. I already got two coats of primer on the walls, but we're gonna put two coats of uh, finish as well, so there'd be four coats out at all. Even though it doesn't call for that, we do it anyways because we like to do a great job. So over here, this has already been all cut in. The ceiling's been cut in. Uh, everything's been cut into the jams. So if you want to come this way, uh, all your window casings have been painted. Uh, the same thing with the trim. The ceiling is going to be a Swiss coffee, the trim is Swiss coffee, and this is going to be a uh, polar bear. So basically this is what it looks like. Boom. And there you have it. We'll put one more coat on these walls and uh, get cleaned up and call it a day. Thank you very much. Okay, last and final day. This is what it looks like. Doors are back up. Is in. Can't show you the floor. I wish I could. But it's the same. All this will get backsplashed, so you don't have to come down so far with the paint. So you must get backsplashed tiles. This is the final. There's a wrap. Just got finished painting. Some of the walls are a little bit wet still. White closets. See some of the flashing? That's because it's just got cut back in. There you have it, man. This is a beautiful place. Polar bear. What's on the walls? Swiss coffee is going to be on the ceilings and the jams. All this stuff is just all wet. Just got to cut back in. Nonetheless, this is what it looks like. Put a lot of work into this place. Look at these doors. Trim goes in. It's already painted. Baseboard, it's already painted. Right over there. Let's get it installed. We'll come back, cock, and touch it up. Have a wonderful day. Make it a wonderful day. <laughs>